Hey there folks and welcome to the Artist Heart live stream on Facebook. It's absolutely wonderful to be here with you today. Um, we're using our brand new HD camera and it's looking fantastic. I find it weird because sometimes I'm, I'm used to looking up there and I'm having to look straight at you. Um, but uh, it's my pleasure as always to be here with you guys. Today what we're going to be doing is continuing uh, our theme in terms of seascapes and working on the sky and working on... Um, the water as well and we're going to have a tremendous amount of fun today and we're just going to wait uh, a little bit for um, for viewers to come along what you can hear scratching in the background is our cat and uh, <laughs> who also likes the paintbrush um, but we're going to do a number of things and if you are looking to paint along with us today you absolutely can and we can do some things um, I am I need to somewhat point this out just now I am um, nursing at the moment uh, a custom made sling um, that my wife has made for me very very kindly um, for the simple reason um, that the top of my shoulder um, is somewhat out of action just now so whereas I would normally have two hands I'm actually going to show you how to paint today if you've only got uh, one arm that's working and, and one, <laughs> one arm that's not um, but if you guys just want to say hi and uh, and say things in the chat box please do feel free and uh, thank you very much Gary really do appreciate that how are you doing today um, and, uh, and that would be fantastic but uh, that's the only reference I'm really going to make to my shoulder today um, if you are looking as well for um, for presents for art courses for other things as well but maybe you can't get out to art classes we also teach online um, and I've put the, the link up at the top of the, the, uh, the, the bar and it's johnmorrisartfromtheheart.com and you'll see a little option that says School of Art, you can check out that. We've also got DVDs that are available as well of the Seascape course which you would have seen me uh, do a couple of months ago, I think it was before Christmas um, and that is on DVD for those that want to learn how to paint. Um, we've got a number of DVDs as well. We've got everything from the Wolf Painting course, uh, whatever, whatever else. So I got here. Um, we have the the Red Blossom Tree uh, Painting course as well. And if you are brand new to artwork and uh, you've never done it before, then the Introduction to Painting um, course as well. Um, is on DVD. So if you are interested in those, please do get in touch. You can get me, as I say, on Facebook, on uh, johnmorrisartfromtheheart.com. You can get me on uh, LinkedIn, Twitter, all those different things. Um, and I'm also trying to make sure I don't drop them <laughs> because otherwise I'll have to stay down there until after the show. Um, <clears throat> I'm also just getting over a bit of a cold as well. So it's been a little bit of a rough time uh, from a health standpoint, but. <coughs> where we're, uh, we're all all just about ready to to begin and uh, and to, to start so I'm hoping uh, that there'll be some more to join us uh, in about three or four minutes more while we're doing that I can tell you what we've already got laid out here we've already got the base of the wave laid out the waves are way in the distance as you can see there um, and the the base of the mountain as well and working around the sky We'll be doing all sorts of little things today uh, with the sky and with uh, a whole variety of different things. Um, so I'll actually just give you guys that are on right now a close up so as you can see. Uh, there we go. Um, just the stuff that I was telling you about earlier. And so we've got a good base that's laid out here. I am going to be working on the sky. If I had another arm, I would uh, show you. But unfortunately today I don't. Um, so when we start getting a couple more people in, uh, I will begin. Um, just a brief update as well. Uh, for those of you that have been following me on Facebook and on Twitter and on Instagram, um, first of all, thank you very much. Second of all, um, the painting that is directly over my left shoulder is one that we have been working on recently. Um, you can see it a little bit better there, and it's full of sunset colours, and it is just an absolute beauty. I am so, so happy uh, with how that's come out and, uh, and all that's been going on. And that class takes place in Presswick uh, on Wednesday nights from 7 till 9. If you are interested and you are in that area, please do get in touch. 
from next Friday night, so not tonight, but next Friday night, um, I will be teaching in Meadow Green in Troon. We'll be opening up our second uh, art school, or our second art course and class, um, where I will be teaching a brand new class. Uh, I know there's a number of people out there that are really excited about that, and places are filling up really quickly. So if you are interested in coming along and you live in the Troon area, um, or even in the Ayrshire area, and you can't get along on a Wednesday night, Please do get in touch. As I said earlier on, if you um, can't make the uh, the practical classes in Troon or in Presswick on a Wednesday or a Friday, we also do online classes as well. And you always get my online support and my tuition as well um, to support and to help um, in a variety of ways. So as you too can create something like that and unlock your creativity. Um, aside from that, a couple minutes more and we are going to begin. Um, but as I say, if you are interested in learning how to paint and doing something really, really unique and special, um, you can see some of the stuff that our students have been putting together. Just straighten that camera up a little bit. Um, some of the stuff that our students have been putting together and um, you can see for yourself the, uh, the incredible body of work that, uh, that they have put together, which is just wonderful. Um, so, yeah, I think I'm just about ready to begin, as far as I'm aware. Um, anyone else that wants to say hi, please do feel free, or uh, I'll just give it a like, so as I can just see who's on. Um, it's always nice. Hey, Sharon, hoping you're doing well, hoping you're still on. Uh, looking forward to working with you really, really soon. Uh, things have pe picked up from a commission point of view as well. Um, which is always, always fantastic. And over the course of this afternoon, um, for however long uh, we do this tutorial, um, I'll be teaching you uh, a number of different things that we would teach in the class. Um, and I'll also be switching over halfway through, so you guys, are, you guys are going to get half a lesson. I'm going to switch over to a business page at John Morris Art from the Heart. So if you are following both, you can get the full, um, I suppose, the full lesson today. Um, providing my voice carries and my voice holds out. <coughs> um, but as I say, I'm going to be showing you today how to work the sky a little more, how to add some more colour into it. We'll go for a nighttime sky, um, and I'm going to be throwing all sorts of different colours here, um, all of which I hope <laughs> I have laid out. There is one that I haven't, and uh, if you can just bear with me. I will uh, put that out now. As I say, it's it's a lot harder doing this with one arm than it is with two. But yeah, we're, we're looking for paintings. I always look for paintings. I always look for paintings that have lots and lots of colour in, and uh, you know that we can do something really, really special that's out of the ordinary and. Uh, Hey Beatrice, that's great. Thank you very much for loving the live feeds. Uh, yes, I've heard that there's quite a few people out in Nova Scotia uh, just now that have uh, tre uh, tremendous blizzards that are out there just now. Um, <coughs> um, I think we, we it, thankfully in Scotland, I will just show you outside our back door. Um, if I can swing the camera around. I don't know how well that will pick it up. It, no, it doesn't. Um, but uh, we have no snow, and it's currently quite sunny here in Troon. Um, but further afield up in the north of Scotland, and on the hills and the mountains of uh, just down the road from where I live, is, uh, is packed with snow. Um, so, yes. Right. Now, as I say, I'm working with one arm today, so I don't know exactly how this is going to work. Um, so please do bear with me. Um, but I will still do my very, very best for you. Okay, normally what I would say is to have a layer of masking tape across the middle. Now we've already laid a lot of this base colour in and it's a painting that I'm uh, reworking and I'm doing some of the stuff with um, to bring it up to to standard as to using some of the newer skills that I've learned as well. So I'm going to come in with a little bit of thalo blue. I need to put a more black out. And I'm going to be using a wide variety of brushes today, anything from the one inch brush, the two inch brush, and a couple of filver brushes as well. So you can do these kind of paintings with a very, very limited supply 
very limited supply. Okay, right. So I'm gonna come in uh, in and around here just with a two-inch brush, just some phthalo blue and some black, and just begin. I have to emphasize as well, I have not got a broken arm, I haven't got a broken shoulder. Um, I just need to keep it somewhat immobile just now, but there may come a point during this where I have to um, forego that rule. I'm going to come in with some violet as well into a touch of cerulean uh, hue, which is a beautiful, beautiful blue color. Back at some thaler blue. I'm just mixing in with some blues here and some blacks. As I say, we do want it to be quite dark. And at the times I will look back and I will glance back as well just to see if anybody's asking any questions or if there is anything that I'm doing that you're not certain of or if you have questions about your own paintings as well um, please do feel free to fire me a message and I'll be at two you'll have to excuse the knocking on the uh, table, it's actually the easel. Normally, with my other arm, I would be able to stabilize it, but as I say, unfortunately, I am uh, not able to just now. Okay, so we've got a nice dark background with which to work in there. We come in and we rinse the brush. Now, I'm using acrylic paint here, um, and you can just rinse that in cold water make sure the water is cold if the water is hot um, and if it's too hot in particular what will happen is the bristles will spread and uh, your brush will really become useless very quickly okay so i'm gonna just dry it off on an old rag and an old towel okay so we've got to come in with a filbert brush here and because i want the moon in this painting i'm going to come in around here and just begin brightening this area. Now this is a technique that you need to do fairly quickly while the paint is still wet for the simple reason if it dries it makes things a lot harder to do. But we're just adding just a white area around. Hey Chris, I've just seen that you are on. Um, I wasn't ignoring you, please, <laughs> please don't think I was. Chris is one of our online students that will become one of our practical students. Um, very very soon and she is taking uh, the Seascape course, the online Seascape course as we speak. How are things today Chris? Are you having fun? Uh, Chris is on the Isle of Oban, I think it is just now, am I, am I correct Chris? Um, and uh, some of the photos that she's put up recently of it uh, snowing is, uh, is just beautiful and breathtaking. And we we'll just blend that out. I'm just using a half inch brush here just to blend that on out. There we go. Again, clean the brush. Finish right off. And away we go. Okay, now there are many techniques to making the moon. One of the best techniques I've found that works the best is to dab your finger, your index finger, into some white paint. Ah, you're in Orkney. Dab it into some white paint and just touch. Okay, and just you can just make a rounded shape there, roughly. There we go. And it's that simple to make a moon. <laughs> and you can just come in with a little liner brush and just work around the outside, which gives it a nice shiny, almost halo effect. Because if you look at the moon in the sky, you do tend to see a bit of a a light that's there. That's very far away. That's very far away. There we go. It's great to have so many of you guys on with us today, um, and I'm sure a lot more will see it on the uh, the live replay as well. Okay, I'm going to come into some violet, into some black, and we're just going to start making some clouds. 
and I'm doing with this corner of the brush and I'm using a half inch brush for this is just to make some little circle shapes and if you can hear there I am pressing quite hard Add some more paint, some black, some violet And you can just add some little indications here and there of uh, almost like some mist and some clouds that just go straight through the uh, through the moon. You can just imagine a big wolf, maybe not down by the beach, but you can certainly imagine a big wolf that's that's howling down there. Let me just play with some other things here. And there. As I said, during the course of the program, I will um, turn around and, and give. Uh, more attention as well, just to answer in a few questions. Um, so if you guys have got any questions or any thoughts or things that you want to ask me, please do feel free. And we just make some little cloudy shape. We don't need to worry too much about this area over here because it is quite dark anyway, but I can put the indications in just or some little things there but sometimes it can be quite hard to actually see because the light is just bouncing off that's one thing you will find with dark canvases um, <clears throat> it is although they look really cool and really atmospheric they are actually really really difficult um, for lighting purposes and to photograph um, for the simple reason that the light just rebounds off of them right let's have a look Chris uh, had internet but no room in case for acrylic, little pot of poster paint, so many paint. Thank you very much, Chris. That's always nice to know. Um, I know it's fantastic, as I say, when you go away. I found that with a lot of our students, they go away and they tend to actually just just look and photograph things um, that they want to paint, and then they come back, you know, time later and uh, and decide to paint them. Okay, so we're going to start working a little bit in this mountain area here because when you, you put in a new sky, when you take a lot of things out, you need to put all these things back in. So we're going to come into some black, some purple or violet, and a touch of white. And I'm not going to mix it, I'm going to actually just leave it just there. Hey Shelly, um, I'm actually using uh, acrylic paint and the, the I used to use a uh, I used to use oil paint Windsor and Newton um, I'll try that again I'm doing well with my speech here today Windsor and Newton uh, oil paint now I actually stopped using Windsor and Newton when I was in the United States in 2013 and the reason being is because well three reasons one was because uh, acrylic dries really really quickly two because it's hardly any mess um, and any mess that is there um, can be quickly dealt with uh, just with a damp cloth because it is water based and three because with, when working with uh, oils usually you will use turpentine and unless you use an odorless paint thinner the fumes that come into the air and into the house are just lethal um, so I actually stopped using oils and I I suppose I try to uh, sway people away from using oils. Uh, I know it's entirely up to them. I know oils are said to last longer um, because, again, with it being an, an, an oil-based uh, type paint, but it is not nearly as uh, good for the environment as working with acrylic is um, because of the fumes. And they actually put on the back of the, uh, the, the paints uh, on certain ones of them uh, harmful for the environment. So that is one of the prime reasons that I tend to stay away from oil paint. Um, and as I say, I, all my paintings are now done in acrylic. Um, I find it dries quicker, it locks the colouring better, um, and you won't struggle nearly as much with your breathing because there are no fumes that come from acrylic paint. So I hope that helps. Thanks very much, Angus. I really do appreciate that. How are you doing yourself? Uh, is, uh, is your leg all healed up now? Is there any more operations to, to, uh, to take place? Angus was one of my youth group, uh, I think from 
maybe about five or six years ago and uh, he has gone on to do martial arts and do an absolutely amazing job. I think it uh, was it the European Championships or was it the World Championships that he was at um, last competing um, but due to a slight injury, uh, well not a slight injury, quite a major injury in fact, um, he uh, had to take some time out but I think if I remember correctly Angus that you're all uh, good and healed and ready to, to go again. So all we're doing here is just make some mountain shapes here, just some basic shapes way way out in the distance and they just want to go into the water really. Okay, so you can just black them out into the water and all I'm using here is just pure black. I think I've done more seascapes in the last six months in particular than I have probably in my entire life. Yes indeed Shelley, that, that's one of the important things because when uh, I was painting you would almost have to wear a mask all the time um, to be able to do it because the fumes just really really have such an adverse effect on you. Um, it's not pleasant at all. Thank you very much Balula. How are you keeping? Are you, are you doing well? Um, Balula was a, uh, or still is, a client of ours um, that came a couple of years ago and I'm struggling actually to remember what it was that I painted for you Balula. Um, if you can refresh my memory that would be wonderful. Um, see that, that's one of the things, people always assume that because I've done these paintings that I always remember every single painting and I actually struggle remembering with some of them because it was either so long ago or there's been so many since. Okay, I'm going to put waves into the distance now. To do this I'm just going to use a small filbert brush here um, and we're going to come in and we're just going to go from side to side. Now I know a number of students have found uh, this technique particularly difficult but I'll bring in the camera a little bit closer so that you can see I love having this HD camera, it really really works well. There we go, okay. I'll need to look now and make sure you can see. Okay, so all we're doing is just going from side to side and we don't want to cover up all this dark area because that is what gives the impression an indication of waves far away in the distance. And we've just got some blue and some violet and some other things. You really want to reflect what's above and then I'm going to come in with a touch of white just brighten this area up a little bit and just where the moon's hitting more than anything else just give the indication just some moonlight that's just bouncing off some of these waves I love creating uh, paintings like this I really really do as I said earlier on with the um, with the Seascape DVD, um, which is now available for those that are interested, um, it was just so much fun because a lot of it was done uh, live on camera, a lot of it I think was done as a live stream as well, um, just to get people interested and so they could see everything that was being done and everything that was happening. Um, and it was, it was just so much fun to see it come to life and uh, yeah, so we're just working from side to side. Shelley, I did see your comment there about uh, never painting anything more than the walls. Uh, as I say, if, if you are ever interested and you would like to learn, um, you can do it from the comfort of your own home. As I say, we have the introduction to, <laughs> to, uh, to painting as well. Um, and the Seascape course, the Wolf course, and painting the Red Blossom Tree. So if you are interested, uh, please do drop me a message and they are available now. Um, and we also have the online course as well, or the online courses and online classes that you can do from the comfort of your own home. Um, and we also have practical classes as well. But uh, as I say, if you're not in that area and you're not in the Presswick Air or Troon area, um, it can make it a little bit more difficult. 
Thank you very much, June. How are you doing today? Are you keeping well? Well, this is just one of those wonderful paintings. This is actually more of a simple painting the one, than the one of my left shoulder. Um, and the reason being is because it's, it's a fairly standardized colors. Um, whereas with the sunset painting, you have to essentially reflect everything that's above. With this, you reflect everything that's above, but what's above it is quite dark. So it tends to be uh, a lot easier to work with. And we're going to have some fun and we're going to put the base colours of the waves. I'm just going to turn around and uh, just answer a few questions. If folk have questions for me, uh, please do feel free to fire them in now. Um, thank you very much. And, uh, I'll try that again. Thank you very much, Annette. I really do appreciate that. That's always wonderful. Um, yeah. I mean, it is, it's fantastic that over the last 15 years we've been able to touch such a demographic and we've been able to touch so many people's lives um, through the artwork that we do. And I know it always sounds really cheesy, but I mean it genuinely. Um, and it is just a fantastic, fantastic, wonderful um, way to make a living um, and a wonderful way to do something like this. And to share the gifts that you've been given, particularly if you are limited because of health. Um, so as I always say, you know, when, when people say, oh, but it's a business, you know, blah, 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 I always say, well, look, you're supporting someone that has colitis, you're helping people get together and form a community, and it's driving a lot of things, and it's good for the economy as well, because people start getting more into art, they start doing more of these things. That was one of the primary purposes that the Art From The Heart School of Art was founded, was to get people expressing their creativity, and the amount of people that have, I mean, we've seen it again today, the amount of people that said, you know, I really want to paint, but, um, you know, I can't, or I, I've never done it before, or I'm shy, or blah, 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 you know, whatever excuses there. Um, and then now getting to that point where they're saying, yes, you know, I love painting, I love doing this. Um, and it is fantastic. It is absolutely wonderful. I'm going to show you one more technique, guys, and then I'm going to stop filming here, but I'm going to switch over to our business page. Um, so if you are following us at John Morris Art from the Heart, you can see the rest of, or certainly the next part of this lesson. Um, and uh, this video will be available until Monday evening. I'll leave it up there for a few days for you so people can see it and people can check it out. <coughs> and then it will be, uh, be heading down. Um, as I say, if people are interested in learning how to paint, we do have a number of DVDs and things available. Okay, so we're going to come in with that little fan brush, or the little filbert brush, should I say, that I was using. I'm going to show you now how to create the base of a wave. Now, a wave, as you can see here, is built up of three lines, and we're going to come in with some titanium white and a touch of cerulean blue and just mix that on the brush okay you'll have to excuse me I'm just recovering from a cold as well I, I sound like such a moany sod today don't I? I do apologize okay and we're going to start creating a wave here um, yeah I'll just put it in roughly around here so you've got your top line Okay, and then if you just go backwards and forwards a little bit on that, it gives that indication of moving water. And that's really what you're looking for in this technique. Okay. Just like the one you can see behind me, I think. Yes, partially at least. Okay. And then you have the main dump of the wave. Now I'd like to get a good bend on these. Let's make it fun. And then you have just almost, almost like a straight line, but it just follows it around, okay? And then, still using the same brush, we're going to create the wave now, which is just going to come nice and over and just, just like that. And you want to leave some of that shadow color underneath. I was asked by a student of mine the other night, um, do we get rid of all of that shadow color, the answer is no, because you want to keep that in there. Because otherwise, if all of that was white, it would just be a big white smear. Um, and it wouldn't look much like a wave at all. 
Okay. And, and that is the basis on how we create the wave. Now, as I say, we're going to switch over to the Art from the Heart page. Um, so if you are on Facebook, go over to John Morris Art from the Heart so you can get the second part of this class. And I'm going to show you how to really bring the wave to life. Um, aside from that, guys, um, if there are any questions or is, is, if there is anything that you would like to ask me uh, regarding courses, classes, teaching, etc., etc., paintings, commissions, all of the other, um, why I've got my arm in a sling, please do feel free to ask away and I'll give you a few minutes um, just so as folk can form their questions before I head off. Um, but as I say, if you are sticking around for this afternoon, please do head over. Um, in fact, I think if you are uh, following the Art from the Heart page, you should get a direct link to it anyway. Um, who knows, if no one turns up, I might head <laughs> back over here. But uh, it's just a way to spread things out a little bit more, so as I'm reaching all audiences. So, But if there are any questions, guys, please do feel free to ask them. Um, aside from that, it has been an absolute pleasure, as always, just briefly chatting, just for that half hour. Um, sometimes we do longer, sometimes we do short, sometimes we do Q&A. Um, thanks very much, Shelley. If you want to head over to the Art From The Heart page, you can. It is on Facebook. I think you are uh, subscribed to that page anyway. Um, if not, do take care, and I hope to hear from you soon. Um, but aside from that, guys, as always, thank you for watching. Take care. God bless. And I will see you in class. I'll catch you soon, guys. Bear in mind, as I say, we have DVDs and we've got all the other things that are there. Um, and this course, or this class, will be available until Monday, probably Monday afternoon, if you want to watch it again on the replay. Aside from that, guys, take care. God bless. I will see you soon.